Hi everyone, this is Malapan Pomasa, Director of Academic Success Initiatives in the Office of Undergraduate Education, and I'm going to talk to you about how you can use the SQ3R method to read effectively for your classes. Keep in mind the example used in these slides refer to a textbook, but you'll want to think about how you can apply these methods to other materials that are required in your course. You want to start by reading your textbook in two ways. So what does this mean? First, make sure that you're reading materials before class. Skim the assigned reading to become familiar with the vocabulary and the concepts during lecture. Then you want to read the materials after class. You'll review the concepts covered during lecture in an alternative voice, and it will provide additional detail to your lecture notes. So how can you use the SQ3R method? First, survey. Survey your lecture slides and identify highlighted concepts, bolded terms, slide titles, and figures. Find these items in the assigned textbook reading. Second, ask questions. Transform everything you you've identified in your surveying into questions. Ask, what does this concept do? What does this figure show? When you take material and create something with it, like a question, you're engaging your brain. This is what you want to do when you actively participate in your study session. Third, read. Read the textbook to look for answers to the questions you've written for yourself. When your brain is focused on a mission, it becomes more effective at completing the task at hand. Fourth, recite. Without looking at the textbook or your notes, try to explain out loud the answer to your questions to someone or even something. Speaking engages more areas of the brain to create neuronal circuits that store what you've studied. Last, review. Go back to your slides. Using your own words, add what you learned from your reading. Make connections between class notes and notes from the reading. But warning! Be aware of the difference between recognition versus recollection. If you open an old magazine, your brain will easily recognize many images and ads. However, it's harder to predict which exact ad is going to be in the next page before turning it. Reading the book can give you a false sense of understanding when you're only recognizing what you've seen before. Recognition requires a trigger. Recollection doesn't. The true test for mastering the material is being able to explain the concept in simple terms and in your own words. And that's SQ3R. So next time you read your class book, your textbook, or course materials, be sure to try out the SQ3R method.